Hey guys, it's 21 Maxwell here, and welcome to another edition of Maxi Recommends. This time, we're going to have a look at a little guy that was recommended to me by an agent, and this little guy is Luan of Fluminense. He's a young central attacking midfielder, 16 years of age, and I just think some of his um, attributes kind of caught my eye as there was a bit of potential there, and the scout report came back as potential four star with potential 5 star ability, something like this guy could be one to watch. So let's have a run down, he's 16 years old, he'll turn 18 roughly March, pretty soon, so he'll be, I say he'll turn 18 then, because obviously if you try to buy a player from Brazil, you can't purchase them until they're 18, so I mean you can get them now, but you won't be touching down until I'd say 2016, 2017, so you'll yet until you can get your hands on them. Quite small, 63 kilograms and 169 centimeters, and he is right footed. Plays, as I say, attack mid center in that number 10 role. Favoured roles in that position are advanced playmaker, attack midfielder, or engage. So, as an advanced playmaker, as you'll see here, the key attributes needed for that, if we'll just go for the attacking one, is the 14 dribble that he has, the 14 first touch, the 11 pass, and the 14 technique. His mentals, however, that's the ones you're probably going to really work on. His anticipation, pretty average. Composure as well, at 10. Decisions, 11. Flair, 12. Off the ball, 10. Teamwork, 14. And 10. Vision. Now, I'm looking at that, right? If he's got those stats at 16, like the Phil Roberts video, or, uh, you know what I mean? If you can get him up there with somebody like a Juan Ma, even a Steven Gerrard, get somebody like that to tutor him. Those 14s, those 12s, those 11s can become 15s, 14s, 16s, you know, the, the sky's the limit with this kid, I think, you know. If you get him on good stamina training, get him lifting a bit, although to be fair, do you really need to be strong if you're a number 10? As long as you're a crafty wee bastard in that role, then, you know, I think he's one of the players that could make things happen, and maybe get him to man up a little since his bravery's at 1. But I certainly think this kid, if got the right manager at the right club, with the right development, with the right tutor, can be an absolute star. So that's the basics. Well, let's now have a look at the report from my scout. My scout, Carvart Tillman. Scout Tillman, who has 14 judging ability and 19 judging potential. He's only half a star ability, which you can understand. But there you go, the potential ability and the recommendation, 4 star, possibly 5 star. Although, what I'm quite worried about is the scout summary says avoid signing too many doubts about this player. Let's see what it says. So we'll have a look at the pros first. Potential to be a star Premier Division attacking midfielder in the future, so it could be one of the best players in the Premier League. Luan would probably be available for between 2.5 million and 4.8, so you're putting a bit of a gamble. So say you're the likes of a, a, a Chelsea, a Man United, a, a Man City, you know, some, one of the big teams that has got the money to throw around, then I would definitely look to bring him in because you know there's not really much, much risk there, you could probably sell him on. Wages, practically wants no money. We have an ambitious group of players, he's quite th that, that uh, mentality as well, so happy with that. Don't really need the interest in transfer or the philosophy stuff. He handles himself in a professional manner, good bit of pace, acceleration as well, and he's a bit of versatility. Now, the negatives, what do we need to work on? If we sign the land, right? He's decent at signing for League One. Don't need to worry about that right now. It's all about development. Tendency not to get stuck into rough challenges can put his teammates under pressure. If you're going to put him in a number ten role, is he really going to be going for big tackles? No. So I wouldn't even worry about that. Work permit would probably fail the initial work permit, but have a good chance of being accepted upon the field. I don't see a problem in that. Communication would need to learn the language. I don't see any problems in that because you're not going to be in your first team for a few seasons. Fairly susceptible to problems when it comes to living in another country. Again, that takes time. Consistency you can work on. You're not going to have a consistent 16 year old doing performances every week. Fairly selfish player. End of the day, most number 10s are fairly selfish. So, again, he could be that number 10 that is just unplayable, has the moments of magic that fairly drive the team on. So, I mean, although there are negatives and cons, I can definitely see, you know, I don't see them being too negative. I can definitely see you working around them and 
we're working out eventually. And the last negative is the agent wants 220k, so the most you could end up paying 5 million for this kid. But I, I think he's got the potential of this superstar. It's only a scout report we've got on him at the moment. But I mean, I, I think I think there could be a player there. I really do. This is going to be one of the interesting ones when I put the video up. I want to get through the seasons to see how he develops, and then when I do the second video with how he turns out, it'll be interesting, really interesting to see how this kid goes. This guy could either be really shit, or one of the best players in the game. So say 521 caps as well, so he's already been capped at 16 for the youth levels, which is good. And we'll have a quick look at his information. So his name's Luan Borges Machado Martins, a promising midfielder. Volatile and media friendly, similar player to Jean, we can click on Jean, so it's pretty similar to him, although I don't know why, because he's apparently a wing back right in DM, but no, he's pretty, I can see uh, Jean being a pretty decent player, I know he's 28, but I think you could maybe still bring him into a pretty average champion, um, championship, I was going to say, lower Champions League side, you know, some of your Serie A teams and that, so I don't think he's that bad. I'm determined to find some positives about this kid because I think he's going to be a good player. I really do. I like the look of him. Language he's spoken would obviously be Portuguese and he's only eligible. Well, it would obviously be Fluminense in Brazil. But I mean, I just think there's so much potential there. I think there's so much to work with that by the time he's 21, he's going to look absolutely outstanding. So, you can ask a couple of questions for this. You want to leave it in the chat below your comments. Basically, is this guy shite? Or do people think this guy could be a kid in it that is going to take the world by storm? And if you do have any success with him, and you do purchase him, let me know how you get on with him. As I say, we'll have a follow-up video in a couple of weeks to see how the land turned out. So thank you for tuning in, guys. Good luck if you do purchase the land. Take a look at my new games, see what you think. And until next time, guys, this is Twitter on Maxwell. I'll speak to you again real soon. Bye-bye.